We will now make ready to receive the Lord's Supper. And as the first act of these new bishops, it will be to assist us in providing the Lord's Supper to the people of the Lord. Bishop Michael Cole will come and read the scripture to us. Bishop Michael Cole. May we stand. Our scripture today is 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 through 32. For I received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. When he had given thanks, he brake and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament of my blood. This do you as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eat and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. The reading of the Lord. The bread and the fruit of the vine symbolize suffering and death and are symbols of the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. The seed was cast into the cold ground and died. It grew pushing its head through the crust of the soil, exposed to the rain and to the sun, to the heat and to the cold. And then it was ground into flour, cast into a hot oven and baked until it was brown, until it was cooked, so that it became bread to us. In the same manner, our Lord Jesus Christ suffered, was buffeted in the heat of the animosity of the devil until he was fully satisfied that the price had been paid and he became bread to us. The fruit of the vine was cast into the wine press until its life's blood spurted forth and then it became wine and the juice of the grape to us. In the same way, our Lord Jesus was crushed and pressed until his blood burst forth. He died for us. Thank God he arose from the dead. And he said that when we come together over the Lord's table, what we do, we do it in remembrance of him. Bless us, O Lord, as we partake of the symbol of your body and of your blood. And the Lord make this moment real to us and help us to remember all that you've done that we might have life and that more abundantly in the name of Jesus. I will serve the members of the general board at the same time the adjutants and the bishop of the station will serve you in your allotted areas and places. God bless as you are the people of the Lord I believe you should be seated. Hallelujah.
If you have not yet partake now of the bread and the wine that has been shared with you if you've not done so already. Secretary to give us two or three additional assignments that have been made. The names of these gentlemen received Episcopal assignments by our presiding bishop. Bishop Troy Michael Carr, Prelate, South Dakota, Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. The Bishop Nathaniel Andrew Ellis, Prelate, Missouri, Southeast Third Jurisdiction. The Bishop Harrison Hale, Prelate, New York Fifth Jurisdiction. The Bishop Ahmad Mark Scriven, Prelate, St. Thomas Virgin Islands Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. The Bishop Roger Thomas, Prelate, California Southern Third Jurisdiction. Bishop Paul Watson, Prelate, e Germany Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. The Bishop Frank Anthon White, Prelate, New York Eastern Third Jurisdiction. The Bishop Patrick Lane Wooden Sr., Prelate, North Carolina Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. And the Bishop T.T. Terry, Prelate, Texas Southeast Third Jurisdiction. These are Episcopal assignments. Thank you. Let's clap our, clap our hands for these additional assignments. These individuals were already bishop, but they were assigned to a specific jurisdiction and responsibility. And so we celebrate with them tonight also. Give them another rousing applause. We should have the program open to where I'm to read from, but I did not. So give me just a moment. They sung a hymn, and they went out. God bless you, and God keep you. Thanks to all of you for your generosity and support of one of the greatest convocations that we've ever experienced in the Church of God in Christ. Clap your hands and praise God for your contribution and your involvement. You help make it so. I love you with the love of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord be upon you as you travel, as you resume your ministry in your home city. May the power of God and the anointing of God rest upon you from this day forth and forever. Amen and amen.